WUFT's Casey Albritton is here to tell us about the advanced training. So they're working on a local rescue task force to respond to different dangerous situations. One of the unanswered questions from Parkland is whether specially trained paramedics, paramedics could have saved lives among the wounded if they'd been allowed in faster. The Broward County Sheriff's Office held a team back in its confusion over whether the gunman was still present. Here in Alachua County, firefighter paramedics are training deputies to be able to take action when minutes count. I was in an actual um, shooting, school shooting out at Forest Grove about seven years ago. Long before Parkland Newberry Christian Principal James Schrader dealt with the school shooting in Alachua County, he was unloading students from a bus when he heard gunshots. And the person ended up passing away that was shot. He welcomes the response to Parkland with a greater emphasis on school security and training for first responders. Probably the situation is different than it was, say, even to the start of my career. Um, the reality is, is that we have to change because these incidents are changing. And that is exactly what Alachua County Fire Rescue is attempting to do. The past several months, the Rescue Task Force has been participating in mock active shooter drills, along with the Sheriff's Office. Our um, end goal is to be able to integrate with law enforcement so that we are meeting the needs of uh, any potential citizen. The most recent addition to the training program is protective body armor. It's a heavily padded material that will stop um, most projectiles from small caliber uh, ammunition. Uh, there are protective plates in there. The vests were funded through a grant of $12,000 from the North Central Florida Healthcare Coalition. They need 16 more vests and hope to be fully equipped by January. We anticipate we're having um, this program active and on the road uh, the first part of uh, 2019. The Rescue Task Force would be able to respond quickly given their special gear and training. So for them having the training and being able to go in as true first responders, that's where I get excited. Fire Rescue will begin active shooter drills at local schools while students are on winter break.